Well, good evening, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. I want to bring you a quick forecast update for you night owls that are staying up here. It's a little after 11 p.m. Eastern time here. we got new data rolling in, and it is rolling in with a much different trend than the morning I uh, showed you this afternoon. I told you this morning I had a sinking feeling that it would start to jog back a little bit toward the northwest. Here's the way we stand right now. Winter storm watches out over all, pretty much all of Kentucky at this point. It really only includes three Indiana counties right now. National Weather Service Louisville has put Harrison, Floyd, and Clark in that winter storm watch. But really, there's going to be needing some more counties added to that probably during the overnight shift. If not, even some warnings issued. The warnings will probably be issued at some point in time tomorrow. Uh, the shift is definitely taking place. Let me show you that. First, let's take a look at our updated probabilities from the Weather Prediction Center. This is the probability of at least four inches of snow, and that the slight risk is all over us, that moderate risk still encroaching in on us. What about as we go to eight inches of snow? Still even a slight risk there for part of us for eight inches of snow, 12 inches of snow, getting too close for comfort for there as well. So we've still got some uh, snow probabilities around here. The evening data has done a much uh, different shift for us. All right. You remember whenever I showed you the GFS and the NAM in the video this morning, it was just kind of out of our area and it skirted just a few counties. Not so now. Let's watch this low. It develops it. And by the way, this low is tracking about 90 to 100 miles more north than it did in our runs in the previous. Said this morning that I thought it would take a more northerly shift. Now there's some big questions Questions here. Is it, uh, obviously it's seen that more northerly shift, uh, but is it overcorrecting? We'll know more tomorrow morning, but it's a good trend for us if you want some snow nonetheless. Here's the way things look. By about 7 a.m. in the morning, you've got some freezing rain and sleet concerns coming in here for Kentucky. you got snow down here in your blue, rain in your green. This kind of uh, orangey, uh, pinky shade here is uh, your freezing rain. This is your sleet right in here. Watch as this moves in. By the time 11 o'clock comes, you're starting to get snow moving in over the area. Eventually, a column cools and there's no freezing rain concerns here. And we've got snow going on until, well, really all throughout the day on Friday from the way things look with the GFS right now. Before that low, what it does is it eventually transfers its energy to a new low on the coast and will cause a major blizzard for the eastern seaboard there. Now the high, the uh, NAM here showing in a very similar fashion. Let me just sort of uh, show this to you here. Uh, watch that low. Here it is ejecting down in Mississippi. It's up more towards the north. The NAM, though, has a, uh, a strong freezing rain event going on here for Kentucky before the column cools and it turns to an all snow. Could be some icy concerns down there. By the time you near to 11 o'clock on Friday morning, it's not happening for us yet, but there it is. As it, as it starts to move north, uh, the NAM would give us a little bit more precipitation at least, and it would start last really through all the day on Friday. Now, these are not the only two models showing that right now. Uh, the 21Z Shre the SREF model, short range ensemble forecast, is looking pretty similar to both of these right now. Also, the RPM is showing some higher totals uh, for portions of the area as well. So there's a little bit more here. One more I'll just show you, though, that I have access to tonight that I want to just pull up here. The RGM, which is a shorter version of a Canadian model, also in pretty good agreement. Here comes that low. It's much more north. And look at that heavy snow here around the area for us as you go through this. So uh, some of the models starting to converge tonight on a much more northerly solution. Now, that said, what kind of snow could we look at? Here's the way we looked at this morning. Morning. This is what the NAM said. This is a screenshot from my video update here this morning. And you notice it had a sharp cutoff here and really only gave Floyd Harrison and Clark some significant totals and just sharp cut off to nothing else. But I drew this out and said any area here in the red is where I think that this could shift back northwest to a little bit more. Well, now let me show you what the models have done. And here you go. The NAM has indeed shifted that back. And so you see uh, exactly that. I, I, I lined out uh, something more like this. The NAM is starting to fit into that as well. GFS showing even further back to the northwest. So these are uh, we're going to have to monitor this trends. I'm not going to update the snowcast tonight. I'll wait till tomorrow morning to do that. But certainly it needs updating. What I put on there is outdated for now. What kind of totals could we be looking at? Well, if the NAM is right, I mean, this is 11 inches for Louisville and 5 inches for the Evansville area. Even 5 or 6 inches here going all the way up a swath through Dubois County and into Orange County. But then notice that. Uh, just if I were to zoom in on this a little bit more, and I, I can show you that, uh, higher totals here with the GFS as well. But let's just sort of zoom in on that and, and, and show you what the cutoff is for this. 
So you would go here, let's just take the Evansville metro area just for fun. So you got 5.1 inches here around the Evansville metro area where the airport is. But look at this, you go all just to northern Vanderburg County and you've barely got anything. The blue starts the two inch shadings here. So you've barely got two inches here south of Princeton and you've already got five in Evansville. That's a heck of a... Uh, have a uh, cut off for these snows and that's one of the things that we're going to have to monitor for this is what makes it such a tricky forecast folks um it, it just it's going to be a very tricky forecast bottom line here any way you cut it but snow's looking to move back a little bit more towards the northwest we'll watch what it does for tomorrow by the way for what it's worth here is the national weather service prediction uh for this this is uh there uh, from the weather prediction centers what they are thinking this is the 75th percentile they have they issue these for different percentiles basically this is the one i like to use the most this means they're 75 percent confident in this and that is this five inches of snow for the huntingburg area four inches of snow for evansville nine inches around louisville a couple inches even as far north as bloomington seymour maybe an inch up here around columbus so if this is right if their forecast is right we all get snow area wide but higher totals as you get down to the ohio river and this is what they're 75 percent sure of so it certainly could be higher than this this could be on the low side um, but we'll keep monitoring it folks again the model's trending back in favor for our direction of getting a little bit more snows mega snows though still well down here into kentucky it doesn't look like we're going to get a foot of snow at this but you know it looks like somebody in our area could get six to ten inches of snow here in indiana we're going to have to watch that folks because that's a crippling snowstorm for us around here just keep it tuned right here to southern indiana weather we'll have more throughout the update tomorrow so enjoy uh your evening folks get some rest gonna be a long day of forecasting tomorrow